Now, what is the biggest mistake you see first time screenwriters make? Um, you know, I get this question a lot and honestly, the biggest mistake is rushing it, rushing the process, submitting before they're ready, submitting before their scripts are ready, not doing their research, um, and just the, the deadly combination of impatience, desperation, and ego. And <laughs> Horrible you, mix. If you get those trifecta, you are effed before you ever start. Yeah. It's, it's never going to happen. Um, because this, this business takes four things. It takes uh, luck. It takes timing. Um, it takes your soul. Uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. It takes your uh, soul. No, it does take your soul. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, it takes talent. It takes timing. It takes luck. And, um, and it takes, uh, there was one other, I always say, uh, talent, timing, luck, and persistence. Uh, <laughs> Well, that too, uh, <laughs> and the right idea, yeah. uh, and the right idea. And if you know, if the right writer doesn't have the right idea at the right time and have the right luck, it doesn't happen. Even if you have yeah. two or three out of those four, it's usually the fourth that becomes the X factor. Um, you know, there's, there's so many projects I've worked on or developed over the years that were just like two years before its time. You know, um, and if we had, if we had just waited another year, everybody wanted that thing, you know, or there were writers who had the greatest idea I've ever heard and it was the right time, but they weren't the right writer for that project, you know, and it's just when those four things, you know, the right idea, the right writer, the right time and the right luck all come together, that's when success happens. Um, but too many writers are trying to force it and their impatience and desperation will not only cost them sometimes tens of thousands of dollars, which, you know, as a consultant, I'm super weary of <clears throat> because, you know, let's face it, it's not a secret. Some people don't like consultants and there are some really shitty consultants out there who should not be charging, mm -hmm. uh, for, for working with people. And, um, and they ruin it for everybody else. And the writers who are so desperate to get their first script out and made are the ones that are going to fall victim to that. And we hate seeing that happen. And so, you know, in executives, they can smell desperation a mile away. I was about it's to like say. bacon. You know, like you, <laughs> you, you, it's the one thing, uh, you know, I, I know a writer who's a good writer, prolific, uh, writer, uh, hasn't quite broken through yet, but, um, uh, you know, but, but he got a reputation as being a little too desperate and people don't want to work with desperate writers. They no. want to work with people that, that feel like they're already professional writers. They just, you know, don't have the you know the jobs yet to prove it but they feel like they are professional writers desperate so, i mean that really is the yeah nobody wants to you know it's like a girl doesn't want to date a guy who's like so desperate or vice versa it's yeah. the same in this business and i remember being on both sides of that equation me being the desperate yeah. one and then yeah. me being the one that's seeing that smells the desperation on people and it's such a turnoff